Josh might have COVID. If we do test positive for COVID, we both have to isolate for seven days. All those three factors combined mean... Josh comes and tells me, I think I've got a sore throat. It's been one of those nights for Josh and I. I just got through security, now we are in the airport. I'm Aiden and this is my mate Josh. Together we have been travelling from Sydney to the Gold Coast where we have been staying in a beachfront apartment with our friend Gore. Today we moved from our apartment to Josh's grandparents house in the southern Gold Coast but before this we have been to theme parks, big bash games and out for dinner. With Covid cases on the rise it was only a matter of time before one of us caught it but is today our day or will luck be on our side? Right now I'm supposed to be on a flight to Sydney. I'm supposed to be flying back to Sydney for an appointment and then I'll come back this afternoon. But Josh might have COVID. So yesterday afternoon, we arrive at Josh's grandparents after staying at Gore's apartment for a number of nights. Anyway, so Josh comes and tells me, I think I've got a sore throat. So Josh is like, I'm just gonna isolate in my room, see how these symptoms go, see if there's anything going on. In the middle of the night, I get a text message. Hey man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to drive you to the airport. I'm just really, really tired. It feels like I've been fighting this for like five hours and it's only been 45 minutes since I last fell asleep. Anyway, so then Josh and I have a number of conversations back and forth. I get a text about 45 minutes later. Definitely can't do it. I need to get a test. I have a fever. Josh has a fever. We're currently sitting in a line. It's about a kilometer long. If we do test positive for COVID, we both have to isolate for seven days. Even if Josh tests positive, I test negative, we still have to both isolate because of a household contact because Josh and I have been hanging out. We've been in the line for like an hour and a half now. Hey, good, how are you? Yeah, we have two of them. Yeah. We just got some piece of paper. I, I don't know what it's for at all. We are very close to being at the front of the line. Do you guys want to watch me get COVID tested? I think you do. Let's have that happen. Up next, we have Aiden and Josh getting texted. Get it texted? Wow, good English. Tested. Get keen. <laughs> currently 10 p.m. at night. It has been a while since we have last talked. Last you saw us, we were in the testing lines. Since then, a few plans have changed. The rules surrounding COVID are this. Josh, because he has symptoms, has got a test and must isolate. Until Josh comes back as positive, he is not a confirmed case of COVID. Therefore meaning I am not a close contact. And because I don't have symptoms, even though I've gotten a test, I do not have to isolate. Now I have been isolating just in case because Josh has grandparents who are older. Now, I have a chronic illness called fibromyalgia and I was born premature, which means that my lungs were underdeveloped and I have really bad asthma. All those three factors combined, meaning that I am going to be flying home tomorrow to Sydney. We just got through security, now we are in the airport and I'm gonna go get some food for breakfast and then we'll get on the plane.